All right, before getting started, if you haven't already, I'd highly recommend checking out the first edition of How to Play Mario Create Deluxe, which goes through everything you need to know before getting on the track. In most cases, I won't be going over what I mentioned in that video today or in any future editions of this series. Either way, today I'm going over how to drive each track in the Mushroom Cup. I'll be going through the Shroomless lines, both on Wiggler and Scooty, the shortcuts, and the coin routes. I'll be uploading the strategies used on the Mushroom Cup tracks next week. One way or another, you'll have a really good idea of how to play each track after after watching these videos for the next few months. So let's just get her going. Starting off the Mushroom Cup, we have Mario Kart Stadium. I think this is one of the more technical tracks in the game, at least if you're on Scooty. It's also home to one of the coolest shortcuts in the game. Regardless, here's how you drive this track with Wiggler. And here's how you drive it with Scooty. Going into the first turn, you want to do a right soft drift to charge a Super Mini Turbo. Ideally, you want to release your Super Mini Turbo as quickly as possible, immediately into two left hops into a right drift. This will set you up to charge a Super Mini Turbo, which you'll release in the off-road of the first shortcut. As you enter the shortcut, you want to wait a tiny bit before releasing your drift, about halfway between the outside of the off-road and the pipe. From here, you want to do a right hop, and this is where it gets a little different for Scooty and Wiggler. On Wiggler, you just want to perform a neutral hop into a right slide and drive straight. On Scooty, you want to do a neutral hop into a right drift. At this point, you want to perform three mini turbos in order to take advantage of the Scooty's mini turbo stat. Don't bother trying this with Wiggler though. It's just not worth it. Coming up is just a mini turbo around the turn before the next big straight. Now, just before passing this lamp, you want to perform a left slide into a right drift. As you hit the first coin, begin to soft drift so that you can charge a super mini turbo. When you get it, release it and perform a left hop into a left drift around the turn. Once you're clearly on the straight before the glider, hold right on your left drift as you approach the glider. You want to hit the left wall as you're on the glider ramp in order to keep your left drift. At this point, just let the game release your ultimate turbo and pop out your glider, and reposition yourself to stay in bounds while holding back to get as much air as possible. Make sure to stay close enough to the left wall to the point where you can successfully make the glider cut. As you approach the pipe, begin to hold both left and back. You should land after the off-road, in which you'll begin a left soft drift and release your mini turbo as soon as possible. Afterwards, you can also do a right drift into a mini turbo if you'd like. But all in all, those are the main shroomless lines you should use on this track. Now let's talk about the shortcuts. I already went through the two no item shortcuts that you should use if you're front running, and you could also use mushrooms through them if you like. The beginning shortcut speaks for itself. You just shroom as tight as possible, release your ultra mini turbo, and you're given her. As for the glider cut though, you do have some options. If you get a regular mini turbo off the glider, use your mushroom as you're about to change direction as shown here. You can make the glider cut without landing until you cross the finish line. There is an easier method, but it only works with a minimum of two mushrooms. For this variation, there's no need for a mini turbo off the glider. As your glider pops out, you want to hold back immediately. You want to use your first mushroom when you reach the highest point of the glider, and the second shroom as you're going around the bend as shown here. Whichever method you use, using mushrooms to take the glider cut can work really well in the lap 3 situation. Now on to three more shortcuts. You have this ramp over here, and we're going to take this shortcut without a mushroom. You want to begin a left drift to charge a regular mini turbo as you get to the anti-gravity section. Release your mini turbo once you're right next to this bolt. Then, and perform a right hop almost immediately after releasing your mini turbo. I say almost because sometimes you'll land on the off road before the boost from your mini turbo runs out, and you'll lose all of your speed as a result. At this point, just trick off the ramp back onto the track, and you'll be given a full throttle. Of course, you can use a shroom to easily make this shortcut as well. 
you also have this little shortcut right here and it's pretty simple just do a neutral hop in between the two bolts into another neutral hop and a left drift once you land from the neutral hop and this can also be easily done with a mushroom lastly you have the ending shortcut to execute it properly you want to begin a left drift as soon as you land which should be when you're next to the right ramp you want to drift into the strip between the road and the off-road and just before hitting the off-road use your mushroom now this part is really important you want to position yourself to hit the wall as you're taking the shortcut this should push you wide enough to easily charge a super mini turbo which you'll release after getting out of the shortcut and with that those are all the important shortcuts you need to know on this track when front running, there's really only four coins worth going for on the first lap. You have the first coin at the beginning, the coins before the anti-gravity section, and the coins on the second last turn before the glider. The coins on the glider aren't worth going for if you're trying to front run and you haven't already broken away from the pack. You're much better off doing the glider strat. If you're falling behind, you do have quite a few options for coin collecting though. You could take the two coins at the beginning, the four wide coins if you don't take the beginning shortcut, the three coins when going wide on the anti-gravity section, the coins on the glider, and either of the two coin lines when you land from the glider. So Sometimes collecting coins can be a struggle while in the back on this track, especially if you don't want to go super wide. So try to take advantage of your position in the race and people getting hit if you can. Regarding the driving, that's all there is to talk about for Mario Kart Stadium. Next up, we have Water Park. This track isn't too special in terms of the driving, but there are still some cool things you can do. Here's how you drive this track on Wiggler. And here's how you drive this track on Scooty. As you can probably tell, there aren't many differences in driving this track when comparing Wiggler and Scooty. However, the first few turns are a lot easier with Scooty. Starting off, you want to position yourself towards the right coins. It's not worth drifting into them with Scooty since you'll likely get bumped by people behind you who are driving straight. I then like to do a left slide into a right drift as I approach the stairs. I can't guarantee if this is actually faster, but for me, I feel like it's more consistent when going up the stairs and it leads to easily charging the Super Mini Turbo. As you go around the first corner, you want to soft drift and release a Super Mini Turbo before dropping down to the road before the anti-gravity section. I like to release my super mini turbo into a left hop, into a neutral hop, into a right drift before landing on the road before the anti-gravity section. Doing this can be a little tricky with Wiggler, but can easily be done on Scooty. You want to release your super mini turbo this early because this will give you a ton of time to charge another super mini turbo before the upcoming ramp. Once you have your super mini turbo charged up, you want to do a left drift off the ramp. When you land in the water, you want to release another super mini turbo into a right drift into a regular mini turbo with a left hop into a neutral hop into a left drift. This sounds pretty complicated and it can also be a bit tricky on Wiggler. So if this isn't your style, you won't lose too much time by charging an ultra mini turbo the whole way through. Either way, as you're taking the big turn, you want to stay as tight as possible while charging up a super mini turbo, which you want to release as soon as you get it, and begin another left drift directly afterwards. While staying as tight as possible, this is where you'll charge up an ultra mini turbo, which you want to release as soon as possible on the straight before the S turn. Coming up to the S turn, you don't have to do a left slide, it's just something that feels natural for me to do, and it feels easier to get mini turbos this way. Just release regular mini turbos around the S turn, and begin a right drift as you approach the final turn. At this point, you want to charge up an ultra mini turbo, which you'll release after the glider ramp. As you go off the glider ramp, remember to press R or ZR in order to get a low glider, and you'll be given her. In a lap 3 situation though, it might be in your best interest to not take the low glider so you can stay in the air for the rest of the race and avoid all the chaos that unfolds at the end of the race on the ground. Either way, you'll be in a solid position. That's all there really is to front running water park though.
Unlike Mario Kart Stadium, there aren't any real cool shortcuts on Water Park. The only one that's worth noticing, which just so happens to be the only shortcut on the track, is near the end. You want to perform a right drift while streaming through the off-road, and really, it's the same story for how you approach the glider. Just charge up an Ultra Mini Turbo, do the low glider, and you'll be giving her. Yeehaw, bud! The front running coin route on Water Park is very generous. By taking tight lines the whole way through, you can collect up to 9 coins on the first lap. And since the coins respawn online, you can easily pick up the same coins that you would at the beginning of the race. If you need some other options though, you have the left coins at the beginning, as well as the Y3 coins before the ramp. You can take this coin here too. There's three more on this section of the track, but unless you're going for a double box or desperately need coins in your situation, you shouldn't go for these. The wider coins on the S-turn are a great alternative if need be, and you can also take the two left coins after the glider. But all in all, you have a ton of ways to collect coins on this track, so you shouldn't struggle a whole lot. That's it for Water Park today. Let's get her going on Sweet Sweet Canyon there, bud. Sweet Sweet Canyon is probably the least interesting track in the Mushroom Cup in regards to the driving, but there's still a few cool things you can do here. So here's how you drive the track on Wiggler. And here's how you drive the track on Scooty. As you can see, they're nearly identical. As always, driving this track is a bit easier on Scooty, but only by a bit since it's pretty easy on Wiggler as well. The turns before the glider are really simple, just a regular mini turbo, then a super mini turbo, while staying as tight as possible. Before the glider, you want to position yourself towards the left coin, and just before hitting the glider ramp, do a neutral hop. You do this because you're approaching a cannon glider. If you interpret this glider like any typical glider in the game and merely trick off of it, it'll nearly be treated like a regular glider until your glider pops out. By hopping right before the glider ramp, your glider will pop out right away and you'll get a head start to the cannon boost. The turn after you land is pretty straightforward, just perform a right drift to charge an ultra mini turbo around the bend. You don't even need to hold tight, you can either keep your stick in neutral position or hold wide so you don't hit the wall. There might be some situations where you have to hold tight with wiggler, but that's all there really is to it. Now coming up to the split path, I can't tell you which side is exactly faster, but taking the pink path gives you a lot more wiggle room when the track becomes one. The driving on either path is pretty basic until the last straight before the track becomes one again. On the straight before the ramp, you want to perform a left drift in order to get a mini turbo trick off the ramp. When releasing my mini turbo before the straight before the ramp, I like to do a right hop into a neutral hop into a right slide into a left drift. By doing this, you should easily be able to get a mini turbo trick off the ramp. There's not much else to talk about regarding the ending sequence of this track though. Just drive straight, then get a super mini turbo around the last turn, trick off the final ramp, and you're given her. It's a pretty basic track for sure, but it's not too boring. So you shouldn't struggle too hard if you're just learning the track. There's only a few shortcuts worth mentioning on this track as like i said it's pretty basic especially in contrast to mario kart stadium you do have the mini shortcut on both the blue and pink path and you can trim through the donut shortcut at the end do a super mini turbo trick off the ramp and you'll be given a full throttle you can also do the shortcut shroomless but i'm not even gonna bother explaining because a i've never done it and b it's one of if not the most useless shortcut in the game but yeah not much else to talk about regarding this track's shortcuts Similar to Water Park, this track is very generous with coins while front running. You can even collect up to 10 coins on your first lap. For alternatives though, you have the two right coins at the beginning, the wide four coins after the cannon glider, and the wide three coins after the track becomes one. I'd say you have even more options for coin collecting on this track than you would on Water Park, which is pretty nice. But altogether, that's everything you need to know about the driving on Sweet Sweet Canyon. 
Finally, let's talk about Thwomp Ruins. I used to think this track was really boring to drive, but nowadays it really isn't too bad after all. I guess it just has to do with how rarely the track is played online. So here's how to drive Thwomp Ruins with Wiggler. And here's how to drive this track on Scooty. There's only one part of the track that's different in driving when you compare the Wiggler and Scooty here, but this track isn't too difficult either way. Starting off, you have the beginning shortcut, which you want to do shroomless. When the race starts, hold left, then do a right hop into a left drift. You want to give yourself a good chunk of space to soft drift, so I recommend after initially soft drifting to hold wide until you're just about to land in the off-road. This will give you a ton of wiggle room to charge up and release a super mini turbo. Now, so you don't stay in the off-road for too long, I like to do a right hop, then a left hop, then another right hop onto the ramp. But you can do any variation of three hops that will get you on the ramp as quickly as possible. From here, simply check off the ramp and you've made the shroomless shortcut. But moving on, and this is where it gets a little different for Wiggler and Scooty. Once you land from the ramp, for Wiggler, simply do a left hop after charging a mini turbo and drive straight before the next turn. For Scooty, you want to take advantage of the mini turbo stat. So quickly charge a mini turbo with your right drift and release it into a left mini turbo and release that into a right hop, into a neutral hop, into a right slide, into a left drift. You don't have to do this exact sequence. Whichever suits you best when going around the next turn. You then want to simply charge up an ultra mini turbo, which you'll release on the next straight. Now, with all of these different paths to take, we're going to stick to the left path underwater. This isn't necessary, but I like to do a left slide just before doing a right drift into the water. And when you land in the water, just release your mini turbo and take the two left coins and trick off the ramp as you come out of the water. Now, just before the anti-gravity ramp, I like to do a right hop, which gives you a much easier time getting the super mini turbo around the next turn. You won't have to go wide at all to charge it up, so you'll be given her. After the turn, release your super mini turbo and do two right hops into a right drift. You don't have to drift off the mini incline here. I just do it because it looks kind of sick. You can easily do two left hops into a left drift after the slight bend, and you'll still be given her. I release my mini turbo in the air, do a left slide as I land, then begin my left drift. Coming up to the ending shortcut, you want to release your super mini the turbo in the air. This will give you a lot more speed in this part of the track. Now for the ending tricks, I prefer to just shake my controller to secure the tricks here. It's a lot more consistent, at least for me. But either way, trick off the shortcut, trick off the glider, trick off any of the ending ramps, and you'll be good to go for this track. This part is going to be super quick. Really, the only other shortcut to mention is the beginning shortcut, but with a mushroom. There's not much to talk about here. Just shroom a little bit before the shortcut, trick off the ramp, and you're given her. Point blank period. When front running with the pack right behind you, you can't get too many coins by driving tight. By taking tight lines the whole way through, you can only get five coins in one lap. And even though there are a ton of coins outside of the regular path, a ton of them are quite useless. An example would be these two coins because it literally depends on your pacing whether you'll get them or not. And they're only two coins. But enough about the bad. You can take the two coins around the beginning shortcut. These two or these three coins the six coins on the wide anti-gravity section, the three coins at the start of the main anti-gravity section, and these two or these four coins at the end of the main anti-gravity section. There's a few one-corners as well, so all in all, when you aren't focusing on the tight lines, you have quite a few options. But that's all there is to talk about regarding the driving on Thwopper ones.
I hope you got something out of this video. I was originally going to go through everything there is to know about the Mushroom Cup today, but given how long this video was, I think it's definitely a better call to wait until next week to talk about these track strategies. But either way, if you liked what you saw, I'd really appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribed if you haven't already. But regardless, thank you so much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic day and keep on giving her, bud.